Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I have a video today that's going to be part of a new series here on my channel. It's Bible journaling for kids. So I have this uh, stamp set that was sent to me by Joy Claire for review and I thought it'd be perfect for my son Aiden to journal with in his Bible, which you can see there on my desk. So before we get started, I want to show you a little storage trick that I have for my stamps. So I've gone ahead and just pulled the flap off the bottom of the stamp set and then I'm just cutting it right where the fold line is. This is going to create an opening and then I'll go ahead and pull everything out of that plastic sheet and this one has the extra little bit at the top for hanging. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off um, but I'm cutting right along the seal line so that the uh, pocket stays sealed if that makes sense. And I'm going to go ahead and flip that over and so now the, the top of this pocket uh, will be where the opening is here. So you can see I'm kind of flipping everything over putting it back in the plastic and now I store my stamp sets just like this standing upright in a shoebox Tupperware container and I have them all categorized so I can just flip through them and see them and that seems to be a way uh, to store them that works uh, great for me currently in the the amount that I have. So Aiden's going to be using some distress inks to stamp with today because he wanted to use a variety of colors and I don't have a lot of other like pigment inks and colors so but I do have a lot of distress inks. So he's going to be uh, stamping on this little piece of cardstock here that I cut down to fit into the margin of his Bible. And so for his margin he is using a two inch wide by seven inch tall uh, piece of cardstock and he's going to do some stamping. Now I have twin nine-year-old boys so you will be seeing them on my channel a little bit more. I thought it'd be fun to start this series for kids and show you some tips and tricks that I use with my own children in their, Bi uh, in their Bibles. So they have their own journaling Bibles and they pretty much have free reign to do whatever they like in there after we talk about the verse and uh, I'll show you kind of some tips I have for, for dealing with that. So if you don't feel comfortable letting them color right into the pages of the Bible, this is a great option for you. So I've cut this piece down and then they can make their mistakes or do whatever they want on this piece of paper. We can make it as many times as we want and then adhere it into the Bible when it's how they want it. So um, when the Joy Claire stamps reached out to me, I thought that this stamp set would be great for them. So uh, it's hard to find Bible journaling supplies that are boy themed or mail or you know things that I thought the kids might be able to use but when I saw this I thought it'd be perfect so I'll go ahead and list the distress ink colors down below that he's using here uh, but he's just taking a variety of different colors for camo colors and stamping all these really fun shapes that when stamped together create a camo print so and you'll have to bear with me the quality of this video isn't what you probably are used to seeing on my channel um, just trying to keep a nice year old within camera frame <laughs> was tricky but I think we got it to work. So he's just going through and using a variety of different colors and the different shapes to stamp down. There's those really neat uh, combat boots that he stamped down there at the bottom and now he can use this as a bookmarker or you can adhere it directly into the margin of the Bible however they want. Other times you can see his brother uh, Connor his hands will be appearing <laughs> in this video periodically as well giving suggestions but uh, this is a great option because then they can write whatever they want on there make mistakes and you don't have to feel bad that they're ruining um, a journaling Bible. So now he's taking some of those dog tags and stamping those down and then this fun sentiment, it says, I'm a soldier in God's army. And I'll go ahead and link down in the description bar down below, or list, I'm sorry, list a few verses that this would go great with. And uh, that way, if you want to pick up this set for yourself or for your kids, you'd have some ideas of where you could uh, place this once you have finished it. And I didn't really give him much guidance. I mean, I'm in there helping him clean the stamps just because he's on video and it goes a little quicker. But normally, um, I really just kind of set him up with supplies and let them kind of go to town on their own. So this is what he's doing right here on the edges. He's watched a lot of my videos or he's watched me when I'm Bible journaling. And he really has picked up on some of the techniques and things that I like to do in my own Bible or with other crafts that I'm doing, and he's just observant like that. Connor as well. So I felt like this would be a fun series to do because they are um, 
to an age now where I can kind of just give them a little bit of guidance and they can kind of run with it. Um, the distress inks are great because they're water soluble, so they're really easy to clean off the stamps. And it's just stuff. So if they ruin it, I mean, it's yes, it's a bummer, but it's not the end of the world if they ruin supplies. I'd rather them be having fun and enjoying their Bibles and the Word of God than getting caught up in the supplies and just worry that they're destroying my craft room. <laughs> so uh, they ha each have their own journaling Bibles and they just kind of go to town in there and do their own thing. So I'll go ahead and link in the top right hand corner here now the video showing how we covered his Bible. And then he's going to show you here what you can do with this little tip in now. So you can adhere it directly into the margin, or you can use it as a bookmark, either in your Bible or in a book that they might be reading. And that is it. So if you have any questions about what you saw in the process today, be sure to leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. This will be a series that I'm hoping to have several videos up each month uh, showcasing some processes involving my kiddos and then give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and until next time thank you so much bye bye